Alright, I'm Mike Bullard, reporting for the Cecil Wig, and I'm talking with Chip Bixler, who relies on his home weather station to regularly provide the Wig with daily weather information. Chip, tell us what you've seen as of 7 o'clock Saturday night. All right, Mike, I'm up here on my weather station, Davis uh, uh, Weather Station, and I am showing uh, 72 degrees, uh, uh, dew point of 71, which means the air is very saturated, a lot of moisture there, as you can tell. Uh, the barometer, which is an indicator of how strong the storm is, right now is 29.48, which is pretty low. Uh, normally, it should be around 30. Uh, hopefully, it won't get too far under 29. Uh, the rain that I have had in my gate so far is 1.53 inches. Uh, I'm showing right now a wind out of the north-northeast. Uh, the highest wind that I have uh, uh, registered so far is 25 mi or 26 miles per hour. Okay, you said seven or eight inches of rain. Any other predictions in terms of wind or damage? I think uh, you know. As I, was, uh, I, I think if you had to compare this to Isabel in 2003, it may not be quite as windy. But uh, you know, the problem is we've had so much more rain before, it's going to be close to what Isabel was like. So if you remember back in 2003, I think, uh, you know, you got it. You got a similar picture of what we're going to be going through tonight and tomorrow morning. It uh, looks like we're going to max out on the hour-by-hour hour forecast about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So that, you know, after then, it will start maybe getting a little better. And if we're lucky, by maybe 3 or 4 in the afternoon, we'll see some peaks of sun. Uh, you know, uh, uh, that's my hope. For continuing coverage of Hurricane Irene all weekend, stay with CecilWig.com.